This is a number line. This is a number line. It has numbers from 40 to 50. And we want to learn how we can round off numbers to the nearest tens. Supposing you are moving from home and your home is in this spot here, around 41. I'm giving an example. I'm saying supposing you are around 41 and you are going to towards 50. As you reach around 43 or 44, you, found, you find thieves. You are moving from 40 towards 50. You reach 44, you find thieves. You find thieves around. Where do you think will you run to? Which nearest place will you run to? They have told you that there are policemen around point 50 and there are policemen around 40 who can rescue you. But you have reached 44 and you have been attacked by thieves. Where would you run to? Would you run to the policemen on spot 50 or to 40? You would run to 40 because you are around 44. You would run back to 40 because 40 is nearer to 44 than 50. So in our number line here, it is saying round off 41 to the nearest tens. Round off 41 to the nearest tens. So 41 is nearer to 40 than 50. 40 is here, and I told you the tens we are talking about are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. If you are rounding off 41 to the nearest tens, the tens we have here are 40 and 50. And our 41 is here. Forty-one is here. I think forty-one is nearer to forty than fifty. So, therefore, forty-one becomes forty when rounded off to the nearest tens. When you round off forty-one to the nearest tens, you get forty and not fifty. If you look at our number line, we have the middle here. Spot 45. So numbers from 40 to 44, all these numbers having 1, 2, 3, 4, when you are rounding off, you round off downwards to this side. And numbers from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you round off upwards. 45 is tricky because it is in the middle. But the rule says when you are rounding off 45, you round off upwards and not downwards. But all these numbers between 40 and 45, when you are rounding them off, you round off downwards. I have another example here. It says, round off 44 to the nearest tens. If we look at our number line, 44 is here, and the tens we are talking about are 40 
and 50. Is 44 nearer to 40 or 50? 44 is nearer to 40 than 50. And therefore, 44 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40. Forty-four rounded off to the nearest tens is forty. Remember I said all numbers having these digits like one, two, three, and four, you round them off downwards. Numbers with six, seven, eight, and nine, you round them off upwards. You round them off upwards. Let's look at another example. It reads, round of 48 to the nearest tens. Round of 48 to the nearest tens. Look at our number line and try to trace where 48 is. Let's go for a break as we think about the right answer. Enjoy your break. Time now for Fan Fact. <laughs> Welcome back children from your break. Before you went for your break, you were learning how to round off whole numbers to the nearest tens. To the nearest tens. And I said, that numbers ending with any of these digits one, two, three, and four. Children, remember we said any number ending with any of these digits one, two, three, and four. As you round off, you round off downwards. You round off downwards. In other words, all these numbers, as you round them off, the answer will come to 40. And numbers from 45 upwards, as you round off, you round upwards. Let's look at our number two. It is saying round off 48 to the nearest tens. Round off 48 to the nearest tens. If we look at our number line, 48 is here, and 40 is here, while 50 is, he is here. So we are asking ourselves, is 48 nearer to 40, to 40 or 50? When you count the steps from 40, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, eight steps from 40. And from 48 to 50, we have only two steps, one, two. Therefore, 48 is nearer to 50 than 
40. Forty-eight is nearer to fifty than forty. And so, forty-eight rounded off to the nearest tens is fifty. Forty-eight rounded off to the nearest tens is fifty. Our next number says, round of 46 to the nearest tens. Round of 46 to the nearest tens. Go back to our number line. Remember I said numbers ending with n of these digits, you round off downwards. And numbers ending with So I'm saying that numbers ending with 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are rounded off upwards. So our 46 is ending with one of these digits, and so we are going to round off upwards. 46 is nearer to 50 than 40. Forty-six rounded off to the nearest tens is fifty because remember we said numbers ending with any of these digits you round off upwards to the nearest tens. So forty-six is nearer to fifty than forty. Let's go for a break. We shall continue from there when we come back. with numbers. So what's the answer, kids? <laughs> Welcome back, children, from your break. Before you went for your break, we were learning how to round off numbers to the nearest tens. Rounding off numbers to the nearest tens, and we say that when we are rounding off, we can use a number line. A number line like this one. You can use any number line depending on the numbers you want to round off. It's not necessarily that they have to start from 40 to 50. 
You can make your number line with different numbers depending on the numbers you want to round off. We have looked at several examples and remember I said numbers ending with any of these digits one, two, three, and four. As you round them off, you round off downwards, backwards, in other words. All these numbers, when rounded off, will become 40. So now 41 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40. Why? Because it is nearer to 40 than 50. 42 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40. 43 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40. And 44 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40 because it is nearer to 40 than 50. And we said a number that appears in the middle of the number line, as you round off, you round off upwards. The rule says you round off upwards. Numbers ending with 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All these ones. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You round them off upwards. So if you are taught to round off a number like 47 to the nearest tens, the answer is 50. Because 46 is nearer to 50 than 40. If you look at the steps from 40 to 46, they are more than the steps from 46 to 50. Therefore, 46 is nearer to 50 than 40. I want to give you a short activity here. The activity says, round off the following numbers to the nearest tens. We have 44, 68, 89. I hope you are doing the work. What is the answer to 44? Let's go back to our number line. When you look at our number line, 44 is here, and our tens we are talking about are 40 and 50. We ask ourselves, ourselves, I beg your pardon, we ask ourselves, is 44 nearer to 40 or to 50? If you look at these steps here, from 44, one step, two steps, three steps, four steps. And from 44 to 50, if you count the steps, we have one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Therefore, 
44 rounded off to the nearest tens is 40. Forty-four rounded off is forty. Number two says round off sixty-eight to the nearest tens. Round off sixty-eight to the nearest tens. Remember, we said numbers ending with any of these digits you round off downwards, and numbers ending with any of these digits you round off upwards. If you look at sixty-eight. We are going to ask ourselves, is 68 nearer to 60 or 70? It is nearer to 70. Right. So 68 rounded off to the nearest tens is 70. Why? Because 68 is nearer to 70 than 60. Our last number says round off 89 to the nearest tens. Round off 89 to the nearest tens. Round off 89 to the nearest tens. Children, I want you to copy this number and you go and think about it at your home. We shall look at the answer when we meet again. Thank you for following, and goodbye for now. Sarah says, Your duty as a child is to respect your parents, family, and other adults. Welcome to English in a Minute. This expression sounds like a guessing game about food. Jonathan, I can't find anyone to watch my cat while I'm away. And I have asked 